Yep. See, that's good. Opposelas Brain is true variety. Alright, YouTube. Chris here again. I took off this turbo and put seam sealer on all the places that need seam sealer. Um, and like the line there. Um, I uh, cut this bracket here to this hose right here where it mounts up. I cut that so now it's able to mount up. And I think it needs to be bent still. Uh, yeah, so that stuff needs to dry and stuff. But yeah, um, it turns out that I had my setting for wire speed down really low. And I turned that up, turned the heat up a little bit. It was able to do some pretty decent welds. Like, I mean, decent for me, at least, you know. They're not good, as in, they're pretty heavy. But, uh, they are sealed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this all together instead of taking it to the muffler shop. I went ahead and got some more flux core uh, wire. Probably shouldn't be using flux core. Probably should be using some gas and the, you know, the regular wire. But flux core is cheap. <laughs> I went to Menards and got me some flux core. It's dirty, but I can, I can clean it up. I think I'm going to paint these anyways. Uh, and. And yeah, I'm probably gonna paint them anyways. So they can get dirty. They're definitely gonna get wrapped. But, okay, let's uh, get to it. I don't know if I'm worthy enough to do this one yet, because this is the one that's going to be showing up here. So I'm going to do some nice ones here and here. For sure, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to do this one. Because I'm just patching up and doing it. 
delivers, you know, some practice and be honest with you. I still gotta do this part actually. Alright YouTube, Chris again, so this, this pipe, um, this is where I started, and uh, it was meant to be that bad, to pretty decent, to alright, um, I just chopped this bone off and put a little piece of metal here to cover it up and we're going to move around that to Cut it off, save it for some other projects. I'm sure I'm gonna need it sometime. Um, as you can see, there's holes. So we're gonna do exactly what we did right here to the holes here and here and here. I'm going to mark her. I'm going to measure this out and cut it out and here fit it in and weld it all together. Alright guys, I thought we were thought I was done with this uh, exhaust but um, further back where the first muffler is it was actually hitting the uh, transmission support so what I'm going to do is we have this long piece here it's just a long piece and if I cut it right here and then attach this side and attach this side, I can f see the exact angle of which to uh, weld it up together properly. Now, I have this, I have this down pipe exactly where I want it. That's exactly where I want it. So, I'm gonna tighten that up. I have the exhaust, the rest of the exhaust on the bottom on a, um, a jack stand, exactly where I want it. And yeah, I'm gonna put those two together and figure out the angle first. I'm gonna cut right where this red mark is. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then, yeah, figure out what to, uh, what kind of angle I need to get those two together. The exhaust pipe mounted up, and everything in place how it should hang. There's a little bit of support by this jack 
right here, but it should hang in this spot right here. And let's mount it up to the down pipe. So this is the gap that we have. There's the gap we have right here. And uh, we have to, we have to put these pipes together. I think what I'm gonna do is get a straight pipe and um, probably measure it from right there to right there. And just figure out whatever type of dramatic angle. Well, maybe not too dramatic. No, maybe a dramatic angle. We're gonna use Just, just one, right from here to here. Okay. This at an angle, or cut these at an angle. Uh, over this in the straight. Alright guys, we're taking a little break from the exhaust to put in some um, sway bar braces that came in from Super Miata. They go right here, right here, and that's empty space. See the sway bar is attached to those bracket, that bracket right there, and that bracket tends to bend uh, under heavy turns. And this space, this uh, brace, will mount up and uh, will not allow it to flex. I already mounted the other side up for you guys to see.
puts hang some pictures up like oh this is my Filipina uh, Muay Thai champion. <laughs> Her name? Yeah. Christine. This is my Filipino white tie champion girlfriend, Christine. I call her Little Chris. Yeah, YouTube, don't forget to torque your. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you cut it? No. Don't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, don't forget to torque all your bolts to spec. This one calls between 14 and 19 foot pounds. We're gonna do 19. All right, guys, we had a minor setback. Uh, the bolt was not going in. Uh, well, it wasn't tightening down, and we noticed that right here, the bolt's kind of kind of jacked up. Now, I did re-thread this and tried it again, and it got jacked up again. So I think the problem is with that uh, bolt that's in there, so we have, or I went to Menards and I got a, a lock nut. And I'm going to thread the lock nut in first. And that's how we're gonna lock it in place. I'm gonna show you how. What's up, YouTube? Back here, uh, installing the cooler reroute permanently. Taking that gasket off the back right there. You see, I got the mirror down there. Right there to help me see where to get that gasket off. It's almost off. I'm taking a little break right now. Here's the the bull boost performance reroute. Um, I put some sealant on this side and this side. Well, I put some some of this on it. Um, yeah, put them all, put everything together, and uh, as soon as I get that gasket off. I'm going to sand it down a little bit, make sure it's clean, and then um, put the gaskets on there and on here, and make them 
them together and then they'll be permanently on. All right, guys. <laughs> got uh, everything wrapped up. Got the coils on. Got the timing, whatever thing that is called on. I got it loose uh, so I can move it. I'm not sure if it's in the right position. I'm, I'm positive it's in the wrong position to be honest, which is kind of the time. But yeah, so. Our kit is installed. You see it back there? You kind of see it right Not really. But yeah, it is installed. Alright, YouTube. I want to attempt to weld this pipe upside down under the car so I get the perfect angle on it. Phone charge for a second, but um, now that we're back. I tacked up some more, uh, put in some patches here and here and here, and I'm attempting to weld it together right now. like that. This is all mounted up. All mounted up. Everything looks good. It is it's clearing right there. Really, but it is. Right there. It's clear. That's good. All right, now I gotta cut this off. Use this dremel. I think it will fit. get these studs or these bolts that the heads broke off out and I welded a nut to it and it seems to be turning all right I'm gonna turn this all the way see what happens came right out yes gotta just Find another nut to do it to the other one.
damn it. That's pretty tight. It feels like it's moving. Yeah, it just broke worse. Yeah. Alright, guys, I just JB welded these into. The intake right here and also into the charge pipe right next to the throttle body. This uh, the idler control will connect to there and this one will be connected to one of the catch cans uh, so we can get suction out get pressure out of the crankcase yeah it looks like they'll hold pressure I just put my mouth up to it and try to blow into it like and cover up the uh, bottom and, and the tube and it seemed like it was holding pressure so I think it'll be good all right when I replaced the hoses I had to take off the throttle body but broke the uh, gasket I'm not going to scrape it off the gasket. I got it all scraped off on this side. The scraper. Got it all scraped up on this side. And now uh, replace it with a new gasket. Alright. Got a fresh gasket. And then, make sure everything lines up properly. Check the torque specs. I welded my last nut on there. This time I raised the wire speed and it looks like it did the trick. Yes. It took forever. Wow. Okay. All right, guys, now that we finally got these bolts off, we can attach this plate and the sensor that goes to it. First of all, we're gonna put gasket seal. <laughs> we put a gasket sealer on it here on the threads so we don't have any leaks and we're also going to put a gasket sealer in here too on this threads so I'm going to take these off ok 
got this water pumping, thermostat, housing, gasket maker. That's what I'm using for. Oops, all the um, coolant gaskets. Okay, put some gasket around this. Okay, thread that in there. gasket all of this this is I just cleaned all this and sit it down make sure it's all good and the surface seems to be very nice so let's go ahead and put some gasket on here Looks pretty nice. Obviously, um, this wire broke, but I solder this back on here. But yeah, looks good. All right, guys. Got the new PCV valve. This is from a GTX, um, I think an earlier model in this, 80s uh, turbo though, I believe. It's um, metal, it's way better quality, and for the turbo build, we're gonna need it. This is just your basic plastic um, PCB valve. All right. I'm not gonna show you um, me changing it out. I'm guessing you guys know how to change out a piece of 